Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video. Now, this week's video is one that you are definitely not going to want to miss because we have a lot of returning games that we haven't seen in a while. Also, we have some games hitting their lowest price ever and a couple of really huge games that you definitely want to check out. Now, as usual, just before we get started, just in case you're new to this series or the channel, this is a weekly series that we do, and I don't go over the deals that were mentioned in last week's video. So if ever you want to make sure that you're not missing out on any great games, I always suggest you check out last week's video as well, because often deals last more than seven days on the eShop. Also, we have a midweek video where we focus on all the great deals that are under $5. Now, I do sprinkle in a few on this list here. However, if you want a video that really focuses on those really cheap games, check out that midweek video as well. Now, as a last order of business, don't forget that about halfway through the video, we'll be announcing this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card giveaway. If you ever wonder how you can enter that giveaway, all you have to do is to tune into that midweek video of under $5 deals and drop a comment in the video. And don't forget that if you do like this content, the best way to support the channel, hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. So once again this week, we are starting off our list super strong with Ori and the Will of the Wisps that has finally hit its lowest price I've ever seen it at, at 50% off, dropping to $14.99. Now this is one of the best, if not the best, Metroidvania we currently have on the Switch. And as I said before, what I love about the Ori series is although it is deep enough to cater to veterans of Metroidvanias, it is also fairly accessible to someone who is new to the genre. With some beautiful visuals, some stellar gameplay, this is one that you should definitely not miss for this week. Now the next game on our list is a great action RPG that we have on the Switch, and that is Tales of Vesperia The Definitive Edition. Now it is currently 75% off, dropping the price to only $12.49. If you're into JRPG in the action genre, Tales of Vesperia is definitely one that you shouldn't miss if you haven't played it yet. This is pretty much even with the lowest price it normally gets to on sale at $12.49, and for a full-fledged and huge Tales JRPG, it is definitely worth it. Now the next game on our list is for the fans of open world survival, with Green Hell that is still 50% off dropping its price to only $12.49. Now, if you're into survival games, this is an original one because it's set with an FPS point of view. You have to basically survive in the rainforest, building shelters, hunting for food, everything that makes this genre great. And with the awesome open world setting, Green Hell is definitely one of the best games in this category of gaming. Now, next on our list, we have Devil May Cry 3D Special Edition. Currently, the whole Devil May Cry series is on sale. However, as I say every time, far beyond the others, Devil May Cry 3 is definitely the best one we currently have on the Switch, followed by the first one, and the second one is unfortunately a disappointment to a lot of people. That would be the last one I would pick up on the list. Even you could technically skip it unless you're really into filling out the storyline. But Devil May Cry 3 currently at 40% off for $11.99 is a great 3D action game. And the Devil May Cry series is one that is ongoing and hopefully on the Switch will eventually get ports of the fourth and fifth one. Now next on our list we have one of the LEGO games which is LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 that is currently 75% off for $7.49. What I like lately is they're not just dumping all the LEGO games on sale at once, they pick and choose a few at a time, and it really helps out the selection I find. And LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 is among my favorites. Number one, it's pretty much the cheapest that is on sale right now, and number two, I love it because it's an original storyline. It doesn't directly follow the movies, although it features all the characters from those movies. So if you want a really cheap and awesome co-op game to play, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is a great choice for this week. Now the next game on our list will be Gunlord X that is still 50% off dropping its price to $4.99. Now I featured this game in my under $5 list a week or two ago and Gunlord X is really a great retro inspired run and gun shooter. And honestly, if you're into that genre, before the deal runs out, I definitely think you should consider picking it up. Because although it does go on sale regularly, it's not one of those games that is always on sale, so you might have to wait quite a while before you see this price again. 
So the next game I want to point out is Devil May Cry. That is currently 50% off, dropping the price to $9.99. Now, we just looked at the third one a few minutes ago, and Devil May Cry is the second best one we have on the Switch. I highly recommend, though, you play the third one first, make sure you like the genre, and then if you fall in love with the series, drop the $10 for the first one after that to sort of fill in the storyline. Now, next on our list, we have another one of the LEGO games, and that is the LEGO DC Supervillains. Now, this is another one of my favorite of the LEGO entries, and currently this one is 80% off, dropping the price to only $11.99. And it's pretty much one of my favorite ones for the same reasons as the Marvel superheroes, that basically this is an original storyline, and for once you're actually playing as the villains in this one, which is a nice twist on the general gameplay. Once again, an awesome, cheap game if you either want to play in one player mode or in co-op mode. Now next on our list we were going to take a quick look at Earth Atlantis, a game I actually mentioned on my under $5 list this week, but I think it deserved another quick shout out. At 86% off, dropping the price to only $1.99, this is a great side-scrolling shoot-em-up. And as I said in my previous video, it's really fun to have the genre of the underwater submarine adventure rather than the general floating through space. Earth Atlantis, on top of it, if you can already see the images on the screen, has a really amazing art style that I really enjoyed. Now the next one is another game you're not going to want to miss on the budget end of the spectrum and that is Crypt of the Necro Dancer, the Nintendo Switch Edition. That is currently 80% off, dropping the price to only $3.99. Now this is a rhythm based, procedurally generated dungeon crawler. And if you've never played it before, this game was so good that Nintendo actually took the company and hired them to make a version of the game featuring the Zelda characters. When Nintendo hands you one of their premier franchises, you know that you made a successful game. So next, we're going to take a look at a game because I did mention it, and that is Devil May Cry 2 that is also 50% off, dropping the price to $9.99. Now look, almost every Devil May Cry fan will let you know that Devil May Cry 2 is a down point in the whole series. And unfortunately, it really doesn't stand up to a lot of the other entries. So as I said, I did mention this one. If you really want to fill in parts of the story, you can play Devil May Cry 2. But I would say make sure this isn't your first experience with the series to give you a good idea of what Devil May Cry really has to offer. Now, the next entry on our series is actually a game I'm really glad to see back on sale, and that is Northgard, that is 60% off, dropping the price to $13.99. Now, Northgard is a real-time strategy game that has you controlling a clan of Vikings. And I love seeing this game on sale just because the Switch has very few really quality RTSs and Northgard is among some of the best. So when it's on sale, it becomes a great time for fans of this type of gaming on the Nintendo Switch. And at $13.99, it does feel like a really good price for picking this game up. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Panzer Dragoon Remake that is back to 75% off, dropping the price to only $6.24. I personally had no problem paying full price for this game because I was a fan of the original. However, I do admit that it is an on the rail shooter that has you riding on the back of a dragon and what disappointed a lot of people is that you could finish it easily probably under two hours. However, as an arcade on the rail shooter, it wasn't made to be just played once finished and then tossed aside. It's a game that's made to be replayed over and over again at different difficulty levels and giving yourself different challenges. But ultimately, at $6.24, it becomes a great, great sell. Now, just before we move on to our next game, it's time to announce this week's winner of the $5 eShop gift card. And this week's winner will be .com, who said these $1.99 sales have been so good lately, my one half terabyte SD card is almost full LOL. And you know what, .com, I do heavily agree with you. The $1.99 price point on the under $5 sales have been packed with great, great gaming opportunities. Now, all you have to do .com to claim your $5 eShop gift card is reach out to me in my pinned comment in the video down below. Now, the next game on our list is going to be Ghost Runner that is currently 35% off, dropping the price to $19.49. Now, this is a first person action runner that basically has you playing as a sort of cyber samurai doing some crazy, crazy parkour running. 
Now, this game does have a free downloadable demo, and I do recommend that you try that demo out before deciding to purchase it or not. And a second quick warning I will give you, this game has been heavily patched since its original release and now it runs much better on the Switch than it did before. However, if you want the full experience for this game and you do have access to other consoles, the visual fidelity on the other consoles is fairly above the Switch even after the recent patches. However, if you love this type of gameplay, you only have a Switch or you really want to play in handheld mode, Ghost Runner now has become finally a decent experience. Now the next game on our list is part of a series that I am super happy is back on sale and that is Darksiders 2 that is back to 50% off for $14.99. I personally love this series and I am still hoping for that miracle port of the third one so I don't actually have to play it on a different console but who knows if we'll get it. But for Darksiders 2 it is amazing. 3D action adventure game that is very much styled like a 3D Zelda game, let's say Ocarina of Time, however with a much darker and more violent storyline. If you're into those type of games, definitely check out the Darksiders series. At $15, you won't regret it. And while we're on the subject of Darksiders, well the first one this week is also on sale for 50% off, dropping the price to $14.99. And once again, this is another great 3D action adventure game with puzzles thrown in. And if you're asking me personally, although the second one is more refined and the gameplay is more varied, my personal favorite of the two is the first one. I just love the war character so much more than death, but both games are excellent, excellent games, especially at $15. Now the next game on our series is going to be a great game for RPG fans, which is Evoland the Legendary Edition. And you're actually getting two games in this pack. You're getting Evoland 1 and Evoland 2. And right now it's 75% off for only $4.99. That is great value. Now what's amazing about these games is that, as the name suggests, the game will evolve. So you start with sort of 8-bit gameplay, you'll evolve more and more into 16-bit, even getting all the way to 3D action RPGs. So it's like you have a variety of types of RPGs all thrown into one game. The first game is fairly short, which is why I'm really glad this pack also includes the second one. I would say that the really stellar entry in this pack for $5 is Evoland 2, but both games are definitely worth it at only $5. Now the next game, I'm happy to see that it's on sale, because at this price I can finally talk and suggest this game, and that is Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, that is currently 67% off, dropping the price to $9.89. Now this is the port of a PS2 game, and I've got to tell you that although the port does refine the graphics a bit, the gameplay does feel a little bit dated. And at its full price of $30, with the current landscape on the Switch, there were way better places to place $30. But if you're into 3D action puzzlers, once again along the Zelda side, but with very little combat in this case, well, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy is still a really decent pickup at $10. Just be aware that some of the controls do feel a little bit clunky and some of the gameplay does feel a little bit dated, but fans of the series at only $10 will definitely like this one. Now the next game is part of another series where the whole series is currently on sale and we're not going to look at each entry individually. Why? Because it's pretty much exactly the same deal on each game and on top of it it's pretty much the same explanation of the game also on each one of them. And that is the Deponia series that is currently 75% off for all four entries and it drops each one of them to $4.99. These are among some of the best point-and-click narrative-driven games we have on the Switch. So if you're into that type of gameplay, the Deponia series is one you should definitely check out before the deal runs out. I actually featured them as well in one of my under $5 videos, and I definitely think that anyone into this genre will not be disappointed with any of the four entries. Now the next game on our list is a side-scrolling space shoot-em-up which is Hebroxia 2, and I really actually enjoyed Hebroxia 2 a lot. It came out just earlier this year, and at 50% off for $4.99, it is definitely a steal, because on top of it, it has a huge variety of replayability, adding multiple paths that you can take, and even some RPG elements to upgrading your ship. 
Now, Hebroxia 1 and 2 are both on sale this week, and although I would have normally shifted them to my under $5 video, unfortunately the deal's gonna run out before we actually put that video up. And these games were good enough that they were worth mentioning in this one, and I wanted to make sure that anyone who was waiting to pick them up didn't miss out on both these great games. So I don't know what one of these videos would be without the mention of Valferis or Slain, but whether it's in the double pack or each game on its own, Honestly, these are games that are great to pick up, and Valferis is back on sale at 50% off, dropping it to $11.24. And this is a great 2D side-scrolling shooter with some amazing visuals, amazing music, and really solid gameplay. It is, however, fairly challenging, so just be aware of that before you pick it up. Now, the next game on our list is another game that is a port from a previous generation that I am super happy to see on sale, and that is Legend of K, the Anniversary Edition, which is 67% off, dropping the price to $9.89. Now, this game, it's pretty much the same explanation as when we talk about Sphinx. I really enjoyed this game, and I enjoyed playing it through it a second time, especially refined on the Switch. However, some of the gameplay mechanics and the overall setup do feel dated on this game, and at its full price of $30, once again, it just doesn't fit very well into the whole landscape of the Nintendo Switch eShop. However, on sale at $9.89, and in this case, it becomes a really decent value pickup. So if you're looking for another 3D action game and you are sort of out of options, Legend of K can be a really good pickup. And now for the last game on this week's list, we have the first Hebroxia. At 75% off, dropping the price to only $1.99. Now, as I said with Hebroxia 2, normally this game would have more fit into my under $5 list, but because there's only four days left on the deal, we were gonna sort of miss out on it for this week. And I wanted to make sure that anyone into the genre has a chance to pick it up. Once again, a side-scrolling shoot-em-up. And even for someone who's played the second one, at only $2, I really do find that the first one is a worthwhile pickup. Once again, for the exact same reasons as the second one. It's an excellent 2D space shooter with different paths and, once again, a slight RPG upgrade system. So that is pretty much it for this week's list of great eShop deals. And as I said at the beginning of the video, it was really great to see some returning games we hadn't seen in a while, and also some great games hitting a new low price. So as usual, I also love hearing back from all of you. So let me know what games you picked up this week. Are there any you think I missed out on? And also, what games are you excited for that are coming up in the next couple of months? Also, if you're interested in participating in that $5 eShop gift card giveaway, as I said, all you have to do is to tune into our midweek video where we focus on the under $5 deals. Now, just on the way out, don't forget, as I said before, if you want to support the channel, the best way to do so is to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.